Do you know, my friend, one of the major prayer requests that we receive on a daily basis is peace between co-workers, peace between an employee and a boss, but probably more than any other is peace in the workplace. They say that there's turmoil in my company and there's turmoil in my division. Well, today, let us speak to that. In Romans 14, verse 19, it says, Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. So today, as spiritual people, we take it upon ourselves. We do not wait for someone else to take the action. We take it upon ourselves to build peace in every discussion, in every gossip, in every story that is told about another, we are going to pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. In our prayers for peace, we also include those that will make major decisions in our workplace, affecting us and the others as we bless the others in prayer, we know that they can. And following God, they will be guided by God's love, and it will be for the good of everyone concerned. The decisions that they will make will influence people today and in the future weeks and months that are to follow. We realize that God can work in and through them, and God can work in and through us. And we too can make a major difference concerning our workspace by establishing in our immediate surroundings a peace. As we interact with others, we listen to the Spirit of God that is speaking inside of us and acting inside of us to bring the right words to say and the right actions to take. And furthermore, we are filled individually with peace. And this peace flows from us naturally without us even moving or saying a word. Peace spreads from person to person until the entire workplace is enveloped in an atmosphere of harmony and goodwill and God. God bless your workplace.